Well, it's a journey to, to Guangzhou, Guangzhou a city of, uh, of China. Uh, and we're here on the world, we share the same value, democracy, prosperity, rule of law. All the worlds are covered by positive message from the core value of socialism, which is quite interesting, and we, I will try to make a loop at the end of this uh, presentation. But first, we have to discover Guangzhou, as uh, there is some uh, traces of uh, the Western uh, um, uh, presence, because this was, it was a trade and the, the harbor for, for making um, um, trade and, and commerce with, uh, with the, between the foreigners and the Chinese. And we have some traces, some traces uh, about uh, the, the church in the, the, the Western uh, uh, culture. But the key point will be, uh, the guideline of this trip will be uh, soon the next slide, which is the food. Food is a, is a key point of this uh, area. And then we can discover many type of food totally unknown from us. Uh, here it's uh, uh, seafood, dried seafood, uh, with a very special uh, uh, smell and with very special uh, taste. And every Chinese uh, from that region is obsessed by, by eating at every time in the day. So it's 5 p.m. and uh, the, the delivering boy are waiting to have orders by using WeChat. And WeChat in three years uh, create new jobs like here, Delivery Do and, and uh, Uber Eats. They are waiting for their customers in order to deliver their food. And soon, as a, as a, as a guy here, the Kangaroo company uh, is using WeChat and uh, receives the order uh, to, uh, to, uh, to order the food here in this small restaurant and then take it rapidly at home like, very, like bees uh, running in the whole city for serving food at any time, any places. But uh, it's also time also to work a little bit in, here in G9 University, which is a, a, a very interesting university, um, located in the center of Guangzhou, is a Chinese name. And uh, there is also some, some time before food, uh, we have to work. Uh, but no, before work, we have to eat here. It's always, always food. And they serve, they serve 4,000 lunches in 45 minutes, you know, incredible rapid manners in this uh, uh, restaurant for, for, for our students. Uh, this is a small part. There is a bigger part. I didn't put the, 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 the images. But food is always there. Sometimes also after food, there is time to work. To, to deliver a lecture with a traditional banner, uh, which is uh, the classical way of communicating in China, and some students may listen to the to the um, to the to the to the lecture, or there is, or maybe to the Pija Kucha, who knows? Or some students, some students, like everywhere in the world, are in their smartphones. Forty or half percent of these students are using their smartphones without listening to the lecture. But they are, never there. they are still there, and you don't see the camera in the room. Here there is a camera for shooting, but here there is a camera for serving, for watching the, 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 the speeches. And sometimes we go to a next, slide, next activity, which is PhD students presenting their, uh, their, their, uh, their talk about uh, um, uh, protestation in, in, in China. But the more important is what you see here on the wall. Uh, can you imagine, here is a quotation of the chairman Xi Jinping, as they call it, and this is a good sentence about communication. Would you imagine the same by Charles Michel or François Hollande or by the King Philippe uh, in, on the wall of your main, main room, which is quite interesting to discover. The, uh, is, uh, as a translation, uh, work is always uh, uh, connected with food, and now there is organic food, which is here a hot pot, a hot pot in order to, to have this, uh, the, this round table to share uh, this, um, this discussion, because uh, they say, uh, we, we are never uh, good food if we are not good friends if you don't share time. Or, or we also have, a, uh, I didn't take the picture, but we also, we also can uh, have some, uh, some discussion with a friend around a big fish with uh, very good spices, and a creamy and, and spicy uh, uh, sauce, which is uh, uh, come from, from Sichuan province. Uh, the fish came from the sea. The sea is there uh, at the end of the at the end of the land landscape and the uh, the entrance of the South China Sea, where some fishes can be uh, uh, can be um, um, catch there or can be eaten uh, like uh, and uh, 
in the restaurants which are on the left side and here's a boat on the right side. So food is everywhere and uh, uh, it's a kind of joy, a kind of uh, obsession, uh, uh, even uh, uh, at uh, any time of the day. Alors, it's time to go back in city uh, to have uh, another uh, experience uh, such as uh, um, uh, the as a cruise at night, uh, very noisy, without food this time, but um, to discover the landscape of this uh, very well organized city and uh, the landmark of this city is the uh, Canton Tower. And this, this year, there was hopefully the full moon uh, uh, giving a, a good image. But the, well, there is no restaurant in this town. <laughs> Finally, sometimes when you cannot eat. Ah, now it's time to, to, to see something also important. Here is Tom, a good friend of Alok Landy. And here is a general, two ladies from the General Consulate of the Netherlands in Guangzhou. And what do they organize? They organize a pechagucha. So the group is there. I went to the Pechacucha and here uh, all the participants are facing you, uh, looking at, using WeChat as the application in order to win something during this Pechacucha, which was uh, uh, connected with an uh, uh, architect from the Netherlands. So the loop is down from Guangzhou to Brussels, uh, Pechacucha night.